Hey, my fellow family foodie friends. It is Janky, and I'm excited to talk about something super festive with you guys. I love the holiday season, and upcoming we have Halloween, then Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And I, for one, love family gatherings. I have a very large family. We have a few splits and remarriages in my family, which makes for more family events. And because of that, I am real good at going to family get-togethers. And one of the things I really love about family get-togethers is the festive drinks and eating and today I'm going to share something with you that would be really fun to take to your next gathering or if you're hosting to have at your party. I think what makes family get-togethers really special is you see people that you don't see all the time, you eat foods that you might not normally eat and drink things you don't normally drink. So today I'm going to talk to you about a punch. This is a punch that we make at all of our family gatherings and if it couldn't get better than that, it is a collaboration with two of my gal pals. I am doing this with Shauna of Mrs. Dickinson 1910 and Mandy of Living in the Mom Lane. So these two ladies I have done group collaborations with, we've been in playlists together, and this is the first time I've ever worked with Shauna on a specific collaboration and I worked with Mandy on a few other things. So I'm really excited to work with both these ladies and all three of us are bringing you punches that have a non-alcoholic base and then an alcohol additive if you want something a little spritzier for the adults. This is something that I make for the Super Bowl, for kids parties over here, or even if it's a dish to pass that I take to my in-laws sometimes, it is a punch that we really enjoy making. So I'm gonna share with you the ingredients, how we make it, and if that party's getting a little too rowdy and you need to take the edge off, I'll show you what the uh, adults can add to their beverage as well. Here's our starting lineup for today's punch. I feel like a sports announcer when I go over ingredients, but we are starting with a Canada Dry Ginger Ale Lemonade. That is key in this recipe. Sierra Mist or Sprite, Frozen Lemonade, Raspberry Sherbet, and Smirnoff Raspberry for us over 21. I make this punch. It is not something I make ahead of time. I make it literally right when we're about to drink it, right before the party starts. And I have the two two liters chilled, ready to go. And then I do pull out the frozen lemonade about half an hour before I make the punch. That way it is just very cold and not a frozen chunk. No big deal if you forget, the pop will cool it down and sitting at room temperature, it'll come to temperature pretty quickly. But I added in the entire thing of frozen lemonade and then we're gonna add in half of your Sierra Mist or Sprite. And you can see I'm just starting by pouring it into the lemonade container. I'm not measuring with that, I'm just trying to get whatever's left of the lemonade out. And I only do half of the Sprite or Sierra Mist you really could do the entire two liter if you wanted to stretch this punch, but I like more of the ginger ale with the lemonade, so I only do half of a Sierra Mist. Again, if you want to stretch the recipe, you could definitely put the entire thing of Sierra Mist and it doesn't taste bad, it just changes the taste a little bit. And then I do add the entire two liter of ginger ale lemonade. We have made this punch for years and it is a family favorite. You can see I'm just slowly pouring it in because if you pour too quickly, you do lose some carbonation and I love having the carbonation in the punch. That's what makes it fun. And even for the little kids, they still get to have the bubbly even if they're not drinking the bubbly that us adults know. And it is fun and festive and when you add in the sherbet to a carbonated drink, you get a nice fun reaction. So I'm taking my ladle and I am slowly stirring this punch around just to mix in the pop with the lemonade, any frozen chunks that remain. And now I just am scooping sherbet directly into the punch bowl. I don't measure it, I just try to cover pretty much the surface area and I wanna turn the punch pink. You can see once the top is covered, I'll pretty much stop. I found it kind of comical how much I was having a hard time getting my sherbet off of the ice cream scoop and of course on a glass punch bowl you don't want to knock it so kind of look like a fool but you know I'm just doing what I do, being foolish. Eventually you'll see that we have enough sherbet that the surface area is pretty much covered with bubbly goodness and I call it good comes to the sherbet, it's gonna melt and you will get a little bit of chunks and cups, but I really just like to have it turn color. And then what I personally love to do is add a scoop of sherbet into my own cup. 
I don't necessarily think that it is the healthiest thing, but it's fun and it adds a nice creaminess to the punch and it's fun to sip on it while more sherbet's coming out, but I really love the sherbet and punch. It's like my favorite thing. So here I am just stirring it, trying to mix the punch with the sherbet a little bit, and I'll be scooping myself the first glass. I wish I would have thought I had and had something fancy to serve this in for the video, but it's real life and we don't have fancy cups. But I wanted clear so you could see the color and see that the sherbet did turn the punch pink. It's kind of like a grapefruit color. And this punch is all set for kids. It is perfect to drink like this. My entire family loves it. But for anyone 21 or older, you can top it off with raspberry vodka. I have the Smirnoff here. I often buy the cheapest that I can find. But today I went a little elevated for you guys. And it is a wonderful option. I had this at my son's third birthday party. We had a family dinner and those of us of age had a little bit of vodka and it was so good. It is a little dangerous because it goes down easy and I will suggest that you keep the vodka out of reach so the kids don't think they can add it to theirs as well. And you can see the punch went over very well at our family get together. So if you're someone that enjoys a festive drink like this, make sure you check out my cider shake recipe or you could have an iced coffee. Both of these recipes are very delicious. They're staples in my household and I know that you'd love them. And don't forget to check out Shauna and Mandy's recipes. I am so excited that they joined me in this collaboration and I hope that you've had as much festive fun as I have. Chow down and ciao.